people in the cities are always complaining they can't get fresh, affordable food. In my Free Food and Medicine DVD, I show how some of the most powerful food and medicine grows wild in empty lots. Now another miraculous, beautiful phenomenon is blossoming along those same lines. People from all walks of life banding together in empty city lots all across the country and the world and turning what was nothing but a dumping ground for beer cans and old shopping carts into community gardens. A place to grow natural, organic food for people living in the city. There are no excuses. Every city in the world can do this right now. I'm in the middle of the city in Las Vegas, which is in the middle of a desert where it's like 115 degrees. And if they can grow food here, you can grow food anywhere. Hello, all. My name is Rosalind Brooks, and I am the director of Tonopah Community Garden. This is, from what I know, I think Las Vegas' first public community garden. Our purpose is truly to just get the community involved in a garden, to learn how to garden, how to grow your own food. We encourage any and everyone to come over here and learn and, and help this garden to grow. It's a place where the whole community pitches in and grows food. It doesn't really cost a lot of money and actually a little plot of land can give you enough food to stay alive. The goal is for people to come here and buy your own bed. You can grow whatever it is you want to eat. You can mingle with the community. You can meet others who have the same passion as you and the same drive and desire as you and we will help you to grow it, we will teach you, we will help you harvest it. We're here for whatever you may need. All you have to do is come out and say you want to be a part. So I do realize that uh, time constraints are low for people and they don't have so much time to come out here and, and grow it on their own. So definitely we will grow it for them. We just ask that they come and harvest it and, and eat from it. But uh, we will be here. People just need to come in. They can buy a bed. It roughly works out to be $39 a month, of which I spend a lot more than that at the produce uh, section every month. And they can come out and we will supply the wood, the soil, the drip line, the water, the labor, and the love. So they don't really have to do anything to pick up the food. They just have to pick up the food. And I would love, you know, Community Garden denotes just that community coming in to work the garden and uh, really get connected to the earth. Once you come out here, you just get addicted. You really, really just love it. But if they couldn't, definitely. They just come and harvest it. Okay, and this is real food. This is something that... Yes, this is real food. It will uh, heal your body. And that's the best thing about eating natural, that uh, those ailments that you have can be healed. We are a chemical and insecticide free garden, which is wonderful. So as we're out here harvesting, we're, we can pick tomatoes and just eat them right off of the vine. And we can eat the squash and the carrots. And we don't have to worry about chemicals we, because we are growing this thing naturally. We support the Tonopah Gardens by bringing in the food here is organic and locally produced. And by that, we're helping the community and we're helping the earth in general. And in the near future, we're going to be serving this organic produce made locally here in Las Vegas through our restaurant. So you're taking like an empty, dirty lot and turning it into a new life. Yes. If we can do it in the middle of the desert in a city, you can do this anywhere. I wish we had our cotton growing yet, but this is cotton. Cotton? Yes, it is you cotton. Mean like cotton or clothing? Yes. <laughs> we're going to have lots of um, cotton because we're going to be making clothes in the garden too. Really? i got to be filming that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> if people in the city think they can't get food, this proves that you can. My ultimate goal is to only eat what I grow. And it'll take me probably about a year to get there, but I will only eat what I grow, so I'm really looking forward to that. Japanese eggplant, and it did really well. And if you're too busy to grow, then other people will grow it for you, and then you can get your food. The most pleasurable experience that I have encountered out here is having a group of youth come out and we harvested carrots from the dirt and they they just could not believe it they were literally asking me why are the carrots in the ground why did this carrot just come out of the dirt and it was so cute but it was such a great experience for them to learn it just doesn't come from Smiths and Vons it actually does um, come from a garden it comes from the ground we really just want to make this an area where the community just wants to come and hang out on the walking path we want to have benches we want to have about a hundred more fruit trees out here and we really wanted to kind of be just a sanctuary 
sanctuary. I really believe that life yeah. begets life. Hard. And so when you come out here and you experience life growing, and you help life to grow, it just enhances your own life and it really does something for your spirit. Right now we're just depending on anyone who, who comes over and they have time to donate. We have so many people that have offered wheelbarrows and tools and seeds and soil. And so it's really helping us, even though we are lacking funds right now, it's really helping to continue to, to um, grow the garden despite the, the lack of resources. Um, we are the ones that are coming out saying, hey, it can happen, it can happen. And so I'm hoping through our efforts and through our success that it will encourage everyone else to do the same. We're on Facebook, Tonopah Community Garden. We also have a blog site, tonopahgarden.wordpress.com. And our email address is togetherwecan, the number 10, at gmail.com. Because truly together, we really can make this garden grow and make this project happen. Come by and try this organically grown, locally grown community food. Please show your support. We have hundreds of empty lots. And so if we can turn this empty lot into this, we can turn every empty lot into this. When we first started, it was just a couple of us with the vision. I, I would say God is making it work here in the desert. You can do it in Las Vegas. You can literally do it anywhere.